Hey guys, um, I have a video today, um, not on knives, but on some EDC pens that I, uh, carry a lot. So, um, I wanted to kind of switch it up and talk about the kind of EDC pens that I carry and, and just all about them, their price range and, um, and which ones I like the best and stuff like that. So, let's, uh. I guess we can start off with a couple of my favorites. Um, this is definitely, this is my favorite. Um, it's the Urban Survival, um, yeah, Urban Survival Gear um, pen. Ty, I think it's called the Ty Bolt or something like that. But um, you can find them on Instagram if you if you search up Urban Survival Gear. You'll you'll come to the pen. And this one, this model is titanium, and they also make them out of brass and copper. I think they might be a little cheaper. So this will run you around $80. And the cool thing about this pen is it takes the famous, I believe these are the, if I can get it to focus, yeah, the Pilot G. G2 pens refill. So these are very popular, and I like it when when um, these after these EDC pens are the, um, will take take popular uh, refills. So it makes it easy. Um, and this so this is gel. This is the gel writing, and um, they do make now these. It has a uh, milled out titanium clip, but he does do the. Uh, the um different the kind of titanium that's different colors I think it's like the muku tai or I don't know how you say that but um has a pen the pen clip if you're gonna it's not gonna be like a deep carry pen clip but it will fit about that much sticking out of your pocket if you clip it in your pants pocket um it's it has enough space to have thick pockets but if you clip it in your on your shirt there's gonna be that much sticking out. So there's one. That's my favorite. Another one that I carry every day is the um, Vision Metal Design Pen. And this is a very compact uh, pen. And I use it to fit inside the little wallet that I carry. Um, and Or you can also just throw it in your pocket and you won't even know it's there. So this is titanium. It was fifty nine dollars. He does make it out of aluminum for like thirty, so that's a a good price. And um, it runs off of these little they call them like D two refills, so they're pretty easy to find um, also on Amazon or something. So very very good machine work, um, and that's something I carry every day. Um, another pen that you can find a lot of places. This is in the store. These Parker Jotters, I love these these pens. These are very good for writing. I mean, it has a very satisfying clicking clicking sound. And these refills, you can get these refills everywhere. The, the Jotter refills, and you can get them in gel ink or regular ink. This is just the regular ball ballpoint ink. But yeah, I know this is annoying to people, but I like clicking this one. <laughs> and this one is about. 10 to 13 dollars depending on when you, where you find it has a very good clip to it very classic clip um, these ones are made in France now they used to be in the UK I think made in the UK then we have the Prometheus, Prometheus Wright rights this is the most expensive out of all of them this runs I think my this is aluminum but they make them in titanium and and other other materials but this aluminum was over a hundred dollars. It was a hundred and thirty, I want to say, but it uh, screws in, and it posts on the back, screws on the back, and it has very good uh, ridges here for writing, and um, it has a titanium clip with a brass um, button, little nut on the top, and this will actually is almost like a deep carry clip, so it can fit in your pocket like that. 
and nothing showing up and it has a lot of room so you can wear it with thick pants too um, these refills take the Mont Blanc refills which are expensive and they actually screw in to the top here you can get um, this like a cheaper one to use in here too see they actually screws into the to the front there see it has threads so these are made for that um, and this this kind of gel uh, the rollerball Mont Blanc rollerball it writes pretty good nothing amazing but uh, it's I like it it's I used to carry this one a lot more till I got the tie tie scribe I think that's what it's called the tie scribe and let's talk about some budget um, this is going to be in, a, in the budget area that's about thirteen dollars but these just came out and this is definitely a budget these are the you can see the paca pens and they're made of completely plastic they'll have a little rubber they have a little rubber uh, seal there that that snaps them into place and this is similar to this, the Vision Metal design, except for it's these run about three dollars, but um, similar design. These are more um, almost like disposable. You can get them in packs of five, ten, twenty. Um, I'll leave a link to a. I think it's a discount code. You can, if you use it, you might get ten dollars off or something like that. But they do that for everybody. It's not just me. If you put your code out and people use it, then the other people get ten dollars off. But I already bought. I bought like a pack of. Um, I think it was a pack of twenty. So that that will last me enough. I don't. I'm not going to be buying them anymore because I got enough. But if you, these are kind of like disposable. When they run out of ink, you can throw them away. Or they do make. You can take like some pliers and pull this out and they sell some refills for it. So this is kind of like if you don't want to mess up a nice pen, you just want something small and compact to put in your pocket, um, get a hold of that. These guys are the Machine Era company and they sell a very affordable um, compact pen. It's not as small as the the Paca or even the, the Fisher pen which I don't have because I don't really like the Fisher refills but these um, what you call it these are a little bit larger but they, this is this is affordable it was thirty dollars thirty nine dollars I believe or some somewhere around that for and this is brass um, and they do make stainless steel I think it's a little more but it's top we'll post up we'll screw back on here and it is good to write with um these take the pilot g2 pilot g2 refills also which is awesome so i like that refill it's a gel pen um so it's cool and they make other kinds of um pens also but i believe this is their cheapest model that they have so um if I had to rank them by affordability, there's this one wins for cheapness, then this guy, then this guy, then this guy, then this guy, then this guy. So those are the six EDC pens that I use regularly and own. Um, I don't really see myself getting any more pens. Um, these do the job for me. Um, Maybe another Parker. I kind of like the another another type of Parker they have that I used to have. Um, maybe I'll, I'll pick that up again. But uh, I think it was called the Frontier or something. Yeah, it was called the Parker Frontier. Um, it has like a rubber grip right here. I kind of like that. But yeah, these are the pens that I use regularly. And um, hope this was helpful. Talk to you guys later.